Before you watch this video, subscribe now. Before you start this video, I want to inform you that this will directly show you the process on how to convert your climate control lights. It will not include the disassembly from the dashboard. If you want to know how to remove the climate control from the dashboard, refer to the link in the description below to watch it. This tackles the tutorial of replacing original light bulbs. So here I remove it from the dashboard. You need to remove 5 screws. There will be 2 long screws, 2 short screws, and 1 small screw. The longer ones are located at the last row, and the shorter ones are on the front row. The small screw is attached at the back of the face. Remove the sliding bracket and clean it. I will remove the plastic lock of the thermostat arm. Just twist it to unlock. Then lift and pull the arm away. Next is the fan selector, which is held by two plastic locks. Just grab two screwdrivers and push it inward and pull it backward. Now, we can remove the face. Here are the two original bulbs and I will remove it. In order to gain access inside the circuit board, I need to remove the housing. Here I disconnected the plugs of the thermostat, fan selector, and the plug for the main harness. I remove it using a flat head screwdriver. I push the lock and pull the socket away. Remove the screw and pull the locking tabs of the housing. There are many locks to consider, so grab something like a flathead screwdriver to help yourselves with. Don't forget the small tab on the screw hole. Pull it and here is the circuit board. I'm gonna clean this housing before reinstalling it later. Remove the thermostat sliding switch before cleaning it. Brush the circuit board and the whole climate control to remove the dirt and dust. Make sure to clean the lenses and everything where the light passes. You can use Q-tips with alcohol, cloth, or anything. This lens is hard to access. So the best way is to grab a Q-tip and mold the ends to fit onto the edges. Here is a simple diagram I made. Just remember that the negative is placed at the end of the circuit board, succeeded by the positive. I prepared two wires for the LEDs. I'm not gonna use the existing ones, since it is connected to a socket. Solder the ends of the wires and the strip lights. Then connect those two by soldering. Insert the wires onto the holes. Remove the first existing wire and insert the wire of the strip light according to its polarity. 
If you are confused, rewind this video to see the diagram. Remember to check the ends of the strip light where it usually indicates the polarity sign. Solder the ends and do the same process to the other one. I decided to put the strip light under the buttons. So I will add another strip light and put it opposite to the first one. With this setup, there will be bright spots. As I test it, you can clearly see that there are some concentrated areas. So I block the lights with electrical tape to balance the brightness. I put some tape onto the holes to seal the housing. Clean everything before assembling it. Remember to thoroughly clean this spot since the light reflects here. That vertical rectangle should illuminate. Now that I've cleaned everything, time to reassemble it. Here is a clean housing ready to be installed. Lift the slider to push the housing. At this point, I realized that something stops the housing when I push it. I've checked every part and here is what I found. The wires of the strip light blocks the housing. Be sure to put the wires onto the designated hole. Make sure that every locking tab clicks. Reinstall the screw. The thermostat sliding switch will be bolted back to its place. Insert the plastic clip onto the hole. Don't forget to put the small spacer of the sliding switch. Reinstall the arm and the plastic lock. Test it and make sure it works like it should. Reinstall the fan selector and the main harness. These areas need grease. I'm gonna put some of it to prevent it from wearing over time. Now that I'm done putting grease, I will reinstall all 5 screws. When it's all done, assemble everything back to where it should.
It gives a better view than the original yellowish lights. LEDs are brighter but consumes lower electricity and generates less heat. Hope you appreciate this video. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos. Thank you very much and God bless.